truth. Video of this arrest went viral and outrage online grew. Now this Rochester, New York woman has every reason to say in your face to the officer who handcuffed her. Emily Good joins me live next. You seem to be very uh, anti-police. I don't feel safe to stand behind me. Do you mind standing in the house? I'm going to stand in my yard if that's okay. Okay, so remember that video. Emily Good of Rochester, New York, recording police as she stood in her own front yard. Then police put Good under arrest, raising the question, did officers, did that officer in particular, overstep his authority? Good supporters say yes, he did. And they felt even more justified this week after the charge against her of obstruction of government administration was dropped. Good is on the left there, hugging her attorney. But now the police union says officers are in greater danger on the street and that several of them have been threatened. An example of some of these threats are, I hope this gets killed. I want to see cops like this getting fried and hung in the streets. If you were a badge, you're a target. I'm going to add, these threats are not the worst threats and they're not the threats that are being investigated. All right, so Emily Good joins me now, and we're also talking to Erica Bryan, a columnist for the Rochester Democrat and Chronicle. Thank you both for joining us. I Emily, it, it wasn't uh, the judge, but the Monroe County prosecutor that dropped the charge. What was your immediate reaction? I mean, you must have felt some sense of, I was right, and the officer was abusing his power. Yes, I was relieved, but I also feel like justice has not been done, and that officer has not yet been... Um, Brought to, to brought to justice, he still um, hasn't hasn't faced the reality that he he um, committed an unlawful act, and um, I am also alarmed that the president of the police union maintains that that was a lawful arrest, and he insists that citizens do not have the right to observe or to question police officers. Okay, we asked the officer who was arrested who arrested you. Uh, and the leaders from Rochester Police and the police union to join us tonight all declined and they did not respond. But this week, I had to say the union, uh, the Rochester Police Locust Club, right, said, your episode, Emily, has created a defiant and dangerous attitude. Mrs. Good's message that has gone out to the public is that you have a right to interfere and question the actions of a police officer uh, is irresponsible, is a danger to the officers, the individuals the officers are dealing with, and any other bystanders. A simple street stop can turn deadly in seconds. Emily, what's your response to that? If we don't have a right to question police officers, then we're living in a police state. And I absolutely maintain that we have a right to question authority in, in every, every level of the, our government, every civil servant. Yeah. Uh, Erica, as a Rochester native, and you wrote a column there, what do you think about the union statement that it's dangerous for people to interfere with police business? Which, first of all, they're saying she was interfering, but the prosecutor said she was not interfering. But what do you think? Do people have the right to question? Of course, I do believe that people have the right to question and that if you are in a situation where you feel that your rights are being violated, you should stand up and, and say something. Um, but the column that I ended up writing about this incident was um, my husband and I were talking about Ms. Good and how she stood her ground and how brave that was, but I said that I wouldn't want my son to do that because I would fear for him um, due to cases like Amadou Diallo where a man who was reaching for a wallet was actually believed to have been thought to be reaching for a gun and was shot 41 times and other cases where um, citizens who have been thought to be confronting the police have had had things end badly for them so though um, I do believe that people have a right to stick up for their for their civil liberties I also believe I would tell my son, I'd say, you know, if you want to stick up for your civil liberties, go to law school because yeah. um, it can, things can end badly if you um, are seen to be making police feel unsafe. Emily, I have to get to this. There have been some other questionable events involving you and police. Last week, your supporters came together and police came out and issued five parking tickets. Look at this real quick. Oh, really? 
you had civilian complaints? We don't think this is going out. Regarding the parking being further than 12 inches from the curb? Okay, that's 12 inches from You can the see the officers brought out rulers showing how far people had parked from the curb. Some say this was police retaliation, and you also had a burglary in your home, and the iPod that was used to shoot your arrest was taken, and police took some time to respond to your home. I, what do you think? Was it retaliation, the parking, and what do you think happened with your iPod and the police, police response? I do feel that the burglary was suspicious considering my iPod was the thing that was targeted. Um, I can't speculate any further than that on the burglary. I, I feel like the meeting of my supporters um, in which four uniformed police officers showed up in four patrol cars and issued tickets is clearly a case of intimidation. There was also an arrest the night of my case's dismissal of a young African-American man um, who was videotaping the police. Yeah. Again, he was arrested for jaywalking. And Emily, you're going to sue, right? Mm. Yes. All right. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Erica.